So, as it stands, I would want to talk real quick about uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I've never played the first one, or any of the other Red Dead games, but uh, I, I, f I feel like I, I've grown to have a uh, somewhat love-hate relationship with it as I've played it. Um, the game relies heavily on the characters, uh, Dutch and the story, which is actually a pretty decent story, I just hate everyone involved in it. Dutch is a communist, and seems to want to steal from everyone, even his own freaking crew, he's like, he's like, everybody get must put in their share, and it, it, I'm sure if it's like a, a, a tax, or like if everyone needs to contribute a certain amount, sure, whatever, but instead he does this as a freaking, everyone gets like a, takes a, he takes a percentage of everything, rather than just everybody has to contribute a certain amount each day or week or whatever. So it's not so much taxation as it is uh, stealing at that point. Or at least it, that's what it seems like to me. On top of that, he just loves the idea of stealing from the rich who've earned it, to giving to the wealthy who, or giving to the poor who haven't. Whether or not the poor are unfairly treated or not, um, he's a pretty shitty person. I, I'm I'm actually pretty glad once I kind of googled it and found out that apparently you get to kill him in the second game. That really does make things a bit better. Uh, let me see who uh, let me see who's who else is there. Micah Micah's a psychopath, and once I googled it, I found out he's a traitor and a psychopath. Don't like him. Uh, Arthur Arthur is flawed, like fundamentally flawed. I don't think he understands right from wrong at all. He has this twisted perception of it, and he always thinks he's doing right. But then he goes off and robs a train, beats the shit out of people who didn't deserve it when he could have just, you know, held a gun to their head until they gave him the money. Fine. It's not a good thing to do. You're a horrible person, but you know what? That's kind of the whole point of this game. You're not meant to be a good person. But he seems to think that he's doing the right thing, even as he beats the shit out of this old man in front of his wife and child. And I think it's retarded. Um, who else is there? Let me see. Uh, John. John has no sense of responsibility to absolutely anyone. Uh, I guess he kind of gets cured of that and becomes a better person. But, you know, he's still a shitty person so far. Uh, Sadie, or Sadie Adler, I think that was that's what her name is. The, the woman whose husband was killed. Um, she's psychotic and just mean. She doesn't, even have, she doesn't have to be so mean to everybody. I mean, she's, I guess she's alright to Arthur, but she's like a dick to the cook. Who's, yeah, he's a bit of a braggart, but he's a braggart, that's it. Nothing wrong with him. Uh, Lenny. Lenny is, um, how should I describe Lenny? Boring. I don't hate Lenny, I guess. I just find him very boring and bland. Especially since all the weird characters are so colorful and either really unlikable or just kind of weird. Like, uh, the cook's just kind of weird. The reverend's just kind of weird. Not really. Neither of those are hateful people. They're just kind of weird people, you know? But Lenny's boring. He, he's not even like the Reverend or anything, or at least they're interesting. Hosea, I think, is the only person so far that I genuinely like. It's Hosea. Hosea. He's a, yeah, he's a just genuinely a good person that you would want to have around, kind of a, a father figure to Arthur, much in the same way Dutch is, only without the whole, um, megalomaniac kind of thing going on. It's one of the other things that I really hate about Dutch is how much of a megalomaniac he is. I mean, he's a communist, sure, whatever, but he's also a megalomaniac, and that's really fucking annoying. Anyway, just figured I'd share those thoughts. Um, really good game, though. My god, I love hunting in that game. See you next time.